So it's been a little minute since I've been vlogging. I'm picking back up my camera today because today is a great day. It's very sunny out here. Um, we are going to the Crate and Barrel outlet, so I'm excited. Hopefully I find some good like um, deals today. I've never been to a Crate and Barrel outlet. So yeah, we're gonna go, hit up the store, and then just have a family day. Hey, hi babe, check in with them. Hi babe, check in with them. He looking real cute. But anywho, we are about to hit the town. So we're about to get started and I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right, bye. All right, so a quick outfit of the day for me. I have on this loose green button up shirt, olive green. I have on these ripped, semi-ripped shorts from H&M. Of course, I have on my ASOS crocodile slides that I love, my coach Tabby. And then I have on these ASOS, um, just personality glasses, and that is about it for me. My babe, you want you want to do it? I want to do the outfit of the day. So, you can do it. All right. So my babe got on. I don't know where you got any of this stuff at. Where you get the shirt from? Um, shit, check the tag. Oh my goodness, Zara shirt from Zara, hat from Zara. Um, I forgot what I got the hat from. Oh my goodness, Urban, Urban Outfitters glasses. Um. I forgot the name of the place. It's a new place. Shorts. Zara. And shoes, Air Forces. What about you, P? Get in the camera. Shirt, H&M. Shorts, think H&M. Nike shoes on. Washington Nationals hat. And we ready to go. Bye. y'all welcome back um, I'm about to get ready for my nephew's first birthday party and I have to make some pasta salad um, so yeah so I'm using my caraway um, pot so I'm excited about that but I also bought two things from Amazon that I want to show you guys really quick and hopefully this will make me making pasta salad in under our um, like really feasible so the first thing I got was this four-in-one chopper um, so it's just supposed to chop like any of your vegetables, I guess, really quick, like just with one push. Um, cucumbers, like it just has a lot of different methods to chopping or even making like zucchini noodles and things like that. So I got this off of Amazon and then also I got this little easy strainer because sometimes, I don't know, I just don't like getting that, um, like the big strainer out. And I just be trying to use like the um, pot top to kind of strain my stuff. So I bought this off of Amazon and apparently you just like hook it on a pot and then you can just pour it out and it'll work fine. I'm going to use this today as well when I'm making my pasta salad. I'll let you guys know how it works for me. But yeah, let's get into making this pasta salad.
All right, so I just finished making my pasta salad. Um, I wanted to let you guys know how I felt about um, this like strainer right here. So it worked good. It got the job done, but if you're like me and super extra, I was like tilting it too much so some of my noodles was falling out. So it's just like maybe, I don't know. I don't know, maybe this is not made for this big of a pot, or maybe, I don't know, I just felt like in order to get the, all the water out, I have to tilt it a lot more, and some of my noodles was just coming out. So I don't know exactly what I would rate this. I'm definitely gonna continue using it for sure because it's convenient, um, and you may lose like five to seven noodles, but other than that, I don't know, maybe like five out of 10 rating. Um, what else? The chopper, that one worked good as well for um, like harder vegetables, like nothing with like a lot of juice in there. I don't know why I try to do a tomato and it completely just splattered all over the place. I don't know, I didn't really read the, I didn't really read the directions either, so I don't know if those were made for tomatoes, maybe smaller tomatoes, I don't know. But I try to use like a thicker tomato and try to smash it down and of course like the juice just went everywhere so I just end up hand cutting that myself but yeah I did really like that for like the peppers and the cucumbers and I didn't use onion this time but I know it'd be really useful if I used that to like dice an onion like it would save me so much time I feel like so yeah I like that purchase I'm gonna rate it like a eight out of ten all right, I forgot to show y'all this last product I got from Amazon, which is this like sandwich bag um, holder that you're supposed to put in your drawers. I've been wanting this for a while, just to kind of go with like my organization theme in my kitchen. So I don't know why I didn't buy the sizes I needed today at um, Target, but I'm gonna go back to Target and I'm gonna buy it so that I can fill it up. But I definitely wanna show you guys this in my drawer right now and try to figure out how exactly it's gonna be placed. So let's do that. All right, so this is my drawer right now. Let me take this stuff out. And then I am going to wipe it down real quick. Get all this stuff out of here. All right. All right, that looks good. All right, so let's open this really quick. Well, let's see if it even fit in this drawer. I don't know if this is going to fit in this specific drawer. I might have to move it to another area. Let's play with it. Of course, it's not going to fit this way, so. use snacks I don't know this is not gonna fit in here like I want it to yeah this not gonna work in here let's try another drawer all right so I think I'm gonna try to use this drawer let's see if I can just move this stuff over um, roll that up roll that up I know this can probably be organized a lot better. Let's see. I'm so anal. Mm, this one not fitting either. All right, we're gonna see what we're gonna do about this. All right, let's see. We about to do some rearranging in this kitchen take this stuff out all right we're gonna take this stuff out I'm trying to figure out what makes sense here this is some candle melt let me clean this drawer out too all right See if this can't even fit in here. All right, so this can go this way. Uh, trying to see if it glides out. Fine. All right, so 
This works. Snack, quartz, sandwich. Okay, so this works. I need to get those clear sticky things so this won't keep sliding. So I need to order that off of Amazon. And I feel like I can put something back here. So I know that they make like a wooden thing for like this plastic wrap and your aluminum foil. So maybe I can order that one too. I need to figure out what size it comes in though. I need to figure out what size it comes in though because if it fits perfectly, then I can just put that back there. You know, something like this. Of course, don't look at this plastic wrap. If you, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll try to insert a picture of what I'm talking about. But I think that will work if it fits. And then it can just be like one whole drawer with like all like my plastic stuff and my like aluminum for you and stuff. So let's see. I feel like that might work. I feel like that might be it guys. I feel like that might be it. Um, but yeah, let me get some of those sticky things and I need to order um, the other thing for the aluminum for you and the plastic wrap. So now I need to figure out what I'm about to do with like my rags and you know, my pot um, things right here. Hmm, let me think. All right, so I think I'm gonna switch out my drunk, mm, my drunk. I think I'm gonna switch out my junk drawer and put it over here because the way that I have things is that one right there holds like my vitamins. Um, this next drawer holds like my mail. And then obviously this one will hold the junk. And this right here will be for like the plastic wrap. And then on this side, you know, I have my seasonings here. And then I feel like it makes sense for me to have like my pot stuff on this side because like that's where the stove is at. So I think I'm going to see how I like that. These drawers over here are a lot wider compared to these. So let me see if this works. putting me through it let's see okay let me just take this one out now and just redo this one because I know that I want to put um, the towels over here so y'all this is me like on a normal trying to organize trying to make stuff make sense that's what I'm all about intentional um, you know planning try to make our stuff easy easier all right so i'm gonna put these here and here i'm gonna put my mittens here and then i'll just put my towels um i'll roll it up a little bit that one there and let's do this one So I feel like it's a better way I can be doing these towels, but let me show you guys. All right, so 
that's this drawer. I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do the towels. This is sliding in, so I think it's fine. I can put my um, washcloths up there. So I think this is okay. I think I'm going to keep this there, see how this works out for us. Like I said, my seasons are right there. I think this would be a good change. Now I got to figure out what I'm doing with that junk drawer. All right. All right, guys, I am back. It's a couple days later, and right now, you probably don't know where I'm at, but I'm actually in my master bedroom. I have an exciting update for you guys. I partnered with Smart Wings. I'm so excited. They sent me over some blinds. I'm actually going to show you guys the blinds and how we installed it and how easy it was. And then I'm going to go into detail about like the final results and how they look in my room and just some details about the actual blinds. So let's get right into it. turn my camera around so it's probably a little bit dark on me just because all the light is facing in but the blinds are installed and I'm so excited to show you guys so let's get right into it so as you guys seen in the prior clip the installation was so easy literally just screw in the bracket and then snap the actual blind on it it took my husband I want to say maybe five minutes each blind when he got the hang of it it was so quick i feel like you know how things could be a hassle and people put them off just because they do not want to do it it was not like this with these blinds at all they were so quick i feel like i can get my whole house done in a day like probably even less than that honestly like if you wanted to take a day and finish them all you can definitely do it and it probably can take I want to say maybe two hours depending on how many windows you have to honestly finish them all if you're moving you know what i mean it was so quick so easy i will 100 percent recommend these blinds i'm already obsessed with them but let me share even more details with you guys so after you install the blind you want to make sure that you charge the blind up it actually comes with a cord to charge it up all you need is a block to put it in the wall or if you have like USB outlets you can just plug it into there once the blind is fully charged it actually works up to four to six months so that's a long duration for the actual blind to work and let's say that we have like a power outage or something like that you can actually use like a um, USB portable charger to charge that so that your blinds can still work so I think that's a cool option too so in my bedroom me and Mike we really struggle with his side right here this um window because when we're watching tv it's always like a window on our tv now that we have these 100 blackout smart wings blinds that's no longer an issue for us so i want to show you guys how they all come down and like i said they're 100 blackout so the room gets very dark notice i don't have any um curtains on these sides so you will see a little bit on the side but that's no issue for us um i don't even think that we're actually going to put up curtains on the side i think we like it the way it is i think it looks sleek and modern and we have curtains on the other side which i think is just really cute i like the way that that is so yeah let me show you how all the blinds come down and they are automatic we have a remote that we can use and they are actually grouped together so that these two back ones go down together and then this one we can um, automatically make this go down as well so let me show you guys them so i have the remote right here and i am actually going to start off with 
this one over here. So, look at that. Let me get a closer view of it. So there we go, I can stop it right there. If I wanted to cover up more light, I can stop it even lower like this. And oh my goodness, you can barely hear it. It's like so seamless, I love it. And I wanna show you guys the actual line that I picked out. It's actually a linen fabric and it's a blackout curtain. So let me give you guys a closer view of it. It's so pretty y'all, I love this so much. It has like these brown, linen tones in it but the shade is white and then it has the brown linen in it so cute and i think it goes perfect with my bedroom so let me show you how the blinds come down right here so again i have my remote i'm going over here because these are for the two back y'all come on now that is legit Look at that! Honestly, when we first put these up, me and Mike were geeking, okay? Because we've been wanting blinds for the longest time. We love them, they look so cool, they are so modern. And come on, you cannot beat this. Look at that, it's the quality for me. All right, so I'm gonna pull them up and I wanna go into some more detail with you guys about these blinds. I cannot wait to wake up and turn these things on and look at this it's just gorgeous i love it look how instantly bright my room gets back so the blinds that we got were the smart wing motorized roller shades 100 blackout linen i know i already showed you a close-up of the linen it's beautiful it's such nice quality and to even get a little bit closer we got the linen cover right here to make it look even more sleek and modern. So right here matches the actual linen blind. I think that looks so good, so modern and so sleek. So I'm glad we went with that option. If you do not want to go with that option, you do not have to, but that's just what we chose. You can 100% customize these blinds. They pair with this remote, like I said, or you can take it up a notch and you can pair with your Amazon Alexa or your Apple HomeKit. Either one, I think just because they offer all these different ways to utilize them, I think that's extra cool. So yeah, we pair ours with the remote, like I said, and we also pair ours with our Amazon Alexa so that we can just use our voice control to move the blinds up or down. It's just endless options with smart wings. Like I said, it's fully customizable. And then the shipping on top of that was so quick. I wanna say I got my blinds in less than two weeks. I wanna say it was more on the verge of one week. So it was super quick. And then like I said, the installation was so quick as well. So it just seems like it's honestly endless options with smart wings, like I said, fully customizable, very quick shipping, very easy installation, a lot of different fabrics, colors to choose from. I had a ball customizing my blinds. I cannot wait to roll these out all over my house. They're so cool, they're so modern, and they're automatic. I feel like it's just a win-win. Like I said, me and Mike, we were geeking when we first installed these and we actually like started working them just because they are really like what I'm hyping them up to be. Like I really like it. Um, I just feel like when you are doing your home and you're trying to pick out like a different blinds and stuff you want it. I know for me, this is what me and Mike wanted. Like we wanted automatic blinds, but like when those companies was coming out to our house, they were so expensive, honestly, like so expensive. So I felt like Smart Wings, they provide these blinds at a good price point. So make sure you go check it out. Make sure you go check out all the customizable features. And I forgot to mention, these are kid friendly. And by kid friendly, I mean, you know how blinds come with cords. These are completely cordless. So you do not have to worry about your child um, playing with the cords or getting the cords wrapped around, you know, anything that can possibly harm them. 
they are completely cordless so i really appreciate that just because we are installing these into parker's room as well so i don't want him to be able to mess with any of those cords so the fact that he can just use his remote and just go up and down and that's it that's good for us so yeah like i said smart wings thank you so much for partnering with me thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video y'all go to smartwingshome.com check out all their blinds they have roller shades they have weight and woven shades and they have zebra shades let me know if you get you some leave a comment down below let me know how you like them i hope you like them as much as we do but for now that's it for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it and until next time bye